Hey YouTube, this is Keith. I just wanted to do a quick video of kind of my first impressions of the Hubson Zeno. I took it out this weekend, put a couple of packs through it. So I just kind of wanted to pass along what I've learned from my first flight and maybe pass along some tips for Hubson for next firmware or whatever. Uh, I will say I've never flown uh, expensive drones like the DJI products. Um, my main experience is with other Hubson products and micro like whoop drones and stuff like that. So this is kind of my first uh, 4K gimbal drone quad UAV. Uh, but I, I did want to pass along kind of what I've learned so far. So hope you enjoy. So this was kind of my first flight of the day. Um, taking it out over the field and I did immediately notice that as soon as I give the drone full full forward that I um, I had to compensate a little bit with uh, with a little bit of extra throttle to lift it up a little bit. Most Hubson drones have that issue where if you give them a lot of speed forward the, they don't hold their altitude very well at full forward. Now if you're just kind of putzing around it's fine but you can see here where I had to, I had to give it more altitude as I started to go forward. So in this clip, my wife is actually flying the drone. She is notoriously a little heavy-handed with the sticks. So I thought this would be a great example of the strengths of the gimbal. And as you can see, it does keep the horizon line very, very well, uh, maneuvering around and uh, th there's, no, there's no stray. So the gimbal does an amazing job here. One thing I did notice is it looks like we're very close to the dog in this picture, but we're really not. <laughs> it's maybe three or four three to five feet away um, and then you can see that with other objects and some of the other videos it it is a little different from flying the H501S which has a, a little bit wider field of view and gives you I think a better understanding of how far objects are away from you but um, this is a good example of the gimbal at least So in this clip I took the drone up to max altitude. Here in the US that's 400 feet or 120 meters. Uh, as you can see the gimbal did a pretty good job of holding the horizon line. It did dip a little bit, uh, sorry the left is a little bit lower than the right in these shots. But that's something that, that Hubson can definitely fix with a firmware update. Uh, on this date winds were light and variable on the surface. Of course as soon as you get up to altitude though you're gonna, you're gonna come across higher winds than on the surface. Um, I did install the most up-to-date firmware before flying the drone. I know that there are a lot of people out there who say don't install firmware updates or if it ain't broke don't fix it but I did want to start off kind of with the most recent firmware so there was a flight controller firmware update and also a gimbal firmware update and I installed both of those. Something that I wish Hubson would add to the app would be um, maybe some sensitivity controls, especially for the gimbal pan up and down. I find it very difficult to try and get a smooth kind of up and down shot or a pan up or down with, with the current settings. I wish that there was a way to just, you know, turn those down a little bit. Uh, it would also be awesome to have maybe rates in the app so that as you pan left to right, it's not so herky-jerky. It could just be me fat fingering it, but I feel like I see it on a lot of the reviewers, even the more um, experienced drone pilots out there who are flying this. That it seems like they're having the same issue. So, Hubson, this is at you. Sensitivity settings would be amazing. <laughs> So in this clip, I just wanted to show really quick that pretty much the only really crazy issue that I had with the gimbal, and it was right there. Uh, <laughs> it was I, I started to pan, and the gimbal kind of wigged out a little bit. Once again, not a big deal. They could fix it with a firmware update. I just wanted to make sure I showed it. So obviously this last clip is not in 4K. It's a screen record of my phone. But I did want to show it mainly because I got a crash uh, while I was doing this. So here we go, I'm going to hit a tree or back into one. 
And there you go. Uh, I think the drone did a great job of recovering and I kept flying, no issues, no damage. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more features or range tests, things like that, feel free to give me a comment and I will upload them as soon as possible. All right, have a great day.